Nicola? Hey! How dry I am. Not. I thought, I th I thought you couldn't get drunk. I, I couldn't until I did this. That, my dear, is my latest triumph. Do you want some? <laughs> what have you done? No. Oh, merely discovered that. <sighs> How did I do it? Um, by inverting the nitrogen molecules in the vino and then distilling it through a reverse osmosis silica filter. And then by adding a crap load of tequila. You can get completely pie eyed. How dry I am. All right, Nicola. Snap out of it, please, really. We need your help. <sighs> Even in my inebriated state, I think your plan is certifiably wacko. But this is your chance to stick it back to those skew bastards. No, thank you. Not even a band of wild horses could drag me back to that viper's den of thieves and iniquities. Where's my umbrella? I thought my glass had a pretty little umbrella. This is hopeless. It was red. I mean pink. Or something. And I'm on my own. How dry I am. I think I can see how a subsonic relay could trigger commands in the other nodes, but as to how all the EM fields would match up. Yeah, that's your cue to, you know, help out. The subsonics can be modified so that all the nodes fall into the same pattern. It was supposed to be a maintenance feature. Yeah, well, E equals MC squared wasn't supposed to help make the atom bomb now, was it? You think this is about my ego? I have seen genocide, Henry, many times. Armenia, Poland, Serbia, mass graves, death squads, and for what? Religion, ideology, race. You take a life, it's murder. You kill hundreds, thousands, millions, it's a political action made by someone who believes his cause is noble and just. And then the tide turns, and the world cries out in horror. How could this have happened? Oh, the inhumanity. And then it happens again and again and again. And you wonder why I hate people. Yes, the last transfer is in your account. There's even some extra in case of any incidentals. Now, I do realize that the timeline was sped up, but I did warn that this might happen when we first started. Oh, right, that was your father. I'd forgotten. Um, my condolences again. Yeah, I do appreciate your discretion. My best to your family. Maybe it's my own self-loathing, but I, I'm not insulted, Helen. Shouldn't you be in the lab? <sighs> Yes. Henry and I are getting very close to finding a way to remotely disrupt the death nodes, as he calls them. Accurate title. But I'm finding it hard to work with the distractions. Such as guilt? How about lies? Come on, Helen, you can hide it from the kids, but me? I know you too well, Mrs. Robinson. Go back to work, Nicola. I will if you tell me what you're up to. I've no idea what you're blathering on about. Secret phone calls, shutting down sanctuaries, Wall Street. Come on, Helen. Let me in. To what? My classified book of the month club? <sighs> yeah, I've been trying to figure it out ever since I sobered up. And it all seems to come down to New York 1901, the same year that fascist J.P. Morgan ran me off Long Island on a rail. You took him for three million dollars and built a radio tower to talk to aliens. Which worked, thank you very much. Regardless, when you came to me, Asking about the controlled use of nitroglycerin, our target was a Peruvian deep water cave. Now, I thought that I was helping you capture some useless multi-headed shark. And? You lied to me. According to the Praxian database, that cave leads to an arterial pathway to hollow earth. Now, how could I possibly have known that? We only discovered hollow earth last year. Mm. The rest of us, yes, but you've known about it for 113 years, so I'm wondering 
If the Helen Magnus who wined and dined me at Hotel Miraflores in 1902 was you, or the other you? Oh, Nicola, you're the genius. You figure it out.